everyone welcome back to my channel for today's video we have my monthly haul if you are new here my name is natalie and i post two to three videos a week all about makeup and beauty if you like what you see here today i hope you will consider subscribing before you leave at the point of filming this video i am so close to a thousand subscribers so would love to achieve that soon but other than that why don't we get started <music> For this video I'm going to be going over the things that I've purchased this month. There are a couple of products I have purchased prior to this month but because they are pregnancy related I obviously haven't featured them on my channel yet due to me not announcing my pregnancy. If you did see my haul from last month I kind of inadvertently put myself on a low buy. That was probably down to finding out I was pregnant and having different priorities with what I wanted to spend my money on. Also because the room that I store my makeup in, this room that I currently film in, will end up being the baby's nursery. So I do need to think about getting my collection down and not growing it too much. Although I have still purchased things this month but it is still relatively low compared to past months. So why don't I show you what I've picked up. And kind of as with last month, I do also have some clothing to go through as well. I did place another sheer order after loving the items that I received last month and I did want to give some of their maternity wear a go. So I'll first of all go over the makeup and beauty products and then I will show you the clothing haul at the end. So starting with a purchase I made from Just My Look, I picked up this foundation from Catrice. This is the HD Liquid Coverage Foundation and I got this one in the shade Light Beige. This is a foundation that I do already own in my collection but I have it in the shade I think it's rose beige and it's a little bit too dark for me. Even though we are now in the summer months and I have caught a little bit of sun I still feel like it is a little bit too dark for me and there is a very small window when I can apply this foundation and because it is a foundation that I do really enjoy using and it is quite affordable I thought why not just pick up a second shade but like I say because it is quite affordable I thought I would pick up a second shade of this so now I can hopefully wear this one all year round I obviously haven't tested it yet but fingers crossed it is a better shade match for me the next thing I picked up from Just My Look is this eyebrow pencil this is from the brand LA Gale and this is the Shady Slim Brow Pencil this is a product that is always raised quite highly about from Jessica Braun and I've just never got around to trying it because I don't tend to like overly thin brow pencils but because I was placing the order for the Catrice products and this did pop up I thought I would give it a go because I think it was only 2 .99. I did get this one in the shade Soft Brown which I'm hoping will be a good shade match for me. I haven't even taken the cellophane off this yet. I did attempt to before I started filming but I was starting to chip my nail varnish so stop so I will open this once I've finished filming but I'm excited to give this one a go and see what it's like. I don't always have the patience to work with a thin brow pencil but because it was only a couple of pounds I thought it was worth a go. Next I placed an order from Beauty Bay because I had a 15% off code for it being my birthday month. I'm quite proud of myself that I did restrain myself and only pick up a couple of items. I think at one point I did have about £100 worth of products in my basket but I managed to narrow it down and just pick up a couple of essentials. The first one is this sun cream. This is from Bondi Sands. This is their daily moisturising face SPF 50 plus. This is actually a product that I initially tried because I was kindly sent it from Influencer and I immediately fell in love with it. It is such a nice moisturising sun cream and I love that it's factor 50. The only thing to note is and it doesn't actually say it on the back of here but it does say it on the back of the ones that I got from Influencer. On the back they do have the kind of star rating for the UVA and UVB and I think the UVB protection rating is only three stars. I have found that a lot of the main brands like kind of Nivea and Ombre Slayer they do only have three or four stars anyway but just to note that this one is only three star. I say this doesn't say this on here and I don't know if it's because I got it from different places but I just thought that was something to note but this is a fantastic sunscreen it is really nice and moisturizing it is fragrance free it doesn't leave your skin feeling oily or sticky it works really nice under makeup it's nice and moisturizing if you do have slightly dry skin with the sun so I absolutely love this and I think it's only seven pounds so I did have to pick up another one of these because I have nearly finished the one that I got from Influencer. The other thing that I got from Beauty Bay is this mascara from Wet n Wild this is the Big Popper mascara I've heard a few people talking about this and saying that they really enjoy it. I haven't tried a mascara from Wet n Wild for a long time and again another quite affordable product so I thought I would give it a go and obviously I had 15% off as well so I'm excited to give this one a try. 
Then I purchased a couple of items from Cult Beauty. Again, I had a discount code for my birthday. The first thing I treated myself to was the Amika Dry Shampoo. This is the Perk Up Dry Shampoo. And I do believe I might have mentioned this in a recent video. I think it might have been my look back on a previous haul from, I think it was July 2018. I think that might have been the last time I had one of these. I haven't had one in my collection for a while now, but I absolutely love this dry shampoo. It's pretty pricey. I think it's £20, but because I had the discount code and because of featuring it in a recent video, I was kind of pining for it. So I thought I would treat myself. I'd kind of forgotten how big the bottle was. So this should hopefully last me a good while. And then I also picked up a backup of my brow pencil. This is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade 2.5, which I found is definitely my new go-to brow shade. So I thought because I had the discount, I best purchase a backup because this is a product I do not want to run out of. Then I picked a product from Feel Unique using some recent gift vouchers that I had from Pick and Mix samples. This is a tummy rub butter and this is from the brand Mamma Mia. So this says it is Omega Rich Stretch Mark Protection Cream. I do already have some stretch marks from my first pregnancy. And in my opinion, I think it's a case of if you're going to get them, you're going to get them. Because I applied, I think is it bio oil, religiously in my first pregnancy and I still got them. Albeit it was quite late in the pregnancy. Because I do remember my midwife saying at a certain point in my third trimester, oh I'm surprised you've not had stretch marks yet. So technically I'm going to actually blame her because it wasn't long after that that they appeared because I think she'd kind of said if you haven't got them now you're not going to get them but unfortunately I did. I don't have a lot but they do make me slightly self-conscious so I don't want them to get any worse so I'm hoping something like this will help and I have heard quite good things about it because I got them anyway using the bio oil that's why I've kind of not gone back to this one and I thought I'll give this one a go. This is a product that I was talking about that I have purchased prior to this month and I have already been using it quite a lot. So much so i'm probably halfway through it this is a really nice moisturizer and it does have a really nice scent to it as well i feel like it's got a bit of a hint of lavender to it so it is quite soothing especially because i am applying this before i get into bed they do actually have a few variations of this they do have a fragrance free one and then they do also have one which has a named scent to it which i can't remember what scent it is now but then they have this one which is just their normal scent i think this is a product that i probably am going to repurchase once i've gone through this one then i just have one item that i picked up from amazon and that is my pillow spray this is from feather and down and is the sweet dreams pillow spray i spray this on my pillow every single night without fail and i feel like it definitely does help me sleep obviously in the past couple of weeks due to pregnancy and the heat and things sleep has not been the best but the one night that I did forget to use this I feel like it took me even longer to fall asleep so it is definitely helping whether it's a placebo effect or not I'm not sure but I do absolutely love this pillow spray so I had to pick it back up because I am so very near the end of my other one. The final beauty order that I placed was from Boots and the first thing I picked up was a backup of this shower gel. This is from Soap and Glory and it's from their Call of Fruity line and this is the Smart Foam. I've been absolutely loving this shower gel and so was my daughter. It is a foaming shower gel but it's not like Imperial Leather Foam Burst which is my usual go-to foaming shower gel. It does say it is a moldable shower mousse and I feel like that is a really good description of it because it does stay quite puffed up with air even when you are massaging it into your skin it does still feel very aerated plus it smells absolutely amazing so because I was purchasing something else from Boots anyway I added another one of these to the basket and I think it had 15% off which was a bonus and then the final thing that I purchased is this little gift set this is from the brand My Little Coco which I do believe is the brand of Rochelle Humes, who is a TV presenter who did used to be in the band Saturdays. So this is her brand. So this is the Baby Mama All About the Bump. And it comes with three products being a bump sheet mask, a bath soak and a bump butter. I first seen about this product on the Instagram page of Zoella, who herself is currently pregnant, or should I say Zoe Sugg and she was sharing about the sheet mask and I thought that that sounded so nice. I am a huge fan of sheet masks for your face but I was really intrigued about one for the bump and I thought because of this warmer weather and things that we have been having it will be really nice and refreshing especially because a lot of the time I'm starting to wear the over the bump thing so my belly is getting a little hot so this sounds perfect. And I think the sheet mask by itself to purchase was about £7, whereas this set was only £15. And then I can obviously try the couple of other products. 
So what I'll be doing is seeing what I think of the Bump Butter so I can compare it to this one from Mamma Mia because I think this one from My Little Coco is slightly cheaper. I do really like that one from Mamma Mia and would definitely repurchase it but I want to try this one before I make that decision and then having a nice bath soap will really help encourage me to get a bath. Since finding out I was pregnant I haven't had a bath because I'm always really self-conscious of the temperature of the bath because you've got to be really careful and for me because I do like baths quite hot I feel like I won't benefit from it as much but having this bath soap will make me get a bath obviously once the temperature cools down because who gets a bath in this hot weather but I just thought this was a really cute set and pretty good value for £15 and it does come in this really nice bag as well I haven't even opened this yet because this did actually only arrive this morning and I've just went to open it now but it has actually got tagged so I won't be able to get the zip open without scissors and I don't have scissors in here but I just thought it's a really nice bag which might actually be quite handy for my hospital bag because it looks like it will hold quite a lot and it's a really nice kind of hessian sack material so I'm really excited to give this set a go. So that is all the beauty products that I've purchased in the last month. Now I will go on to show you the clothing haul. If you were just interested in the beauty haul and this is where you leave, thank you very much for watching. But if you do want to see the clothing haul, stick around and I'll do that now. So I do believe that every item I'm showing you here is from the Shein maternity line. They do have a lot of choice on their website, but as with anything that you kind of order from Shein, I always recommend you read the reviews because people will give their opinions on the quality of the material and things like that. I had made a couple of purchases in the past from Shein and just kind of gone in blind and if I liked the look of something I would buy it but now after reading the reviews touch wood I haven't had a bad product since. So the first thing I purchased is this dress. I did show quite a few dresses like this in my haul last month which were just from the normal Shein website and not the maternity line but because I did really like the quality of them I thought I would pick one up from their maternity line especially because we do have a wedding to go to in October and I thought this might be quite nice for that. It does have a really nice length sleeve which I think will keep me warm in October and then it is kind of like the other ones in that it is to around about my mid calf. The only thing is it doesn't feel very maternity. It does have a bit more room in it but it doesn't have much stretch. So even though the material does go out slightly at the waist, there's not, as I don't feel like there's any more stretch in this waistband than the other ones that I purchased. So for me, this doesn't feel very maternity, but I suppose that's not necessarily a bad thing because either way, it is still a really nice dress. And I do actually have a wedding to go to early next year when I will no doubt still have some of my baby weight. So it's a dress that if it doesn't fit me for the wedding in October, I do have one from my last pregnancy because I had a wedding then weirdly at a similar point of my pregnancy so I can always use that dress if I need to but if this one fits I'll wear this if not I will then save it for the wedding when I'll be postpartum so kind of win-win in that respect but it is really nice it does feel good quality and even though it doesn't feel maternity I'm still glad I picked this one up because I think I will still get use out of it and it is another dress I will be no doubt pairing with the tan belt that I purchased last month because it does look really nice with that. The next thing I picked up are these maternity shorts these do have the over the bump belly band. These do go to just above my knee. You have a similar pair of denim shorts like this from my last pregnancy, but, but the denim is a lot thicker and they do have the under the bump belly band. And I do kind of much prefer these. These feel more secure and these are really nice thin denim. So these have been quite good to wear when the weather has been warmer. Not the biggest fan of the way this bit looks, but I do really like that they do have usable pockets at the back. So these were a good purchase and I have already worn these a couple of times. Then I picked up these kind of sort of cut off capri pants and these are just nice and thin sports look type ones. These ones are just for mainly around the house and perhaps the school run but they are quite thin so I'm not too sure about that but I'm quite happy to just wear these around the house and I think these were pretty affordable. With regards to sizing I have just gone for my normal size which I think it's Shein is a large which is a 12 to 14. Next I picked up this lounge suit slash pyjamas. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to use it as yet. It is this really nice burgundy colour with a dark stripe down the side. It's just a long t-shirt and then it does also have some long pants as well which have again the stripe down the side. They do have this kind of buckle function on the side so you can I think make them a little bit tighter. I'm not too sure how that works but these do feel really nice and soft and will be nice and comfy in the winter. 
then I picked up this gorgeous yellow top. This did look more mustardy on the website, but for me, it's more kind of sunflower yellow. It has really nice lace details on the sleeves. This is the first of, I think it's three tops that I picked up from Shein. And even though these are maternity, they're not like the standard maternity in that they don't have the ruched sides. They just have a slightly different fit to them, which I don't think I'm really going to be able to do justice because it's hard to hold it up in the shot. But the t-shirt themselves, it kind of goes out like a triangle and then the front material is slightly longer than the back. So it should then cover the bump expanding. So it is just more forgiving in that respect. I don't think these tops are going to see me through to heavy pregnancy, but I should at least get the second trimester out of them. To be honest, these ones will probably be really good postpartum because they are slightly more forgiving and a bit more baggier because I do tend to like a more fitted t-shirt. So a lot of my normal clothes as it were are more fitted. So I definitely will appreciate these postpartum as well. Then we have this really nice stripey one with just this red heart motif here. This is a really nice soft cotton material and I think will be nice for when it's still quite warm in like September but starting to get a bit chilly because it's got a really nice length sleeve on it as well. And say the same style as the other one with the slightly forgiving sides. And then the final thing I purchased is just this black top with the floral detail on the sleeve. The material of the body of the t-shirt is a lot thicker than that of the sleeves. The sleeves is a really soft, not quite jumper like material but the t-shirt but the body is more t-shirt material and say that's more softer i'm not too sure of the type of material that it is but it's softer anyway but i just thought that was really nice and has a nice splash of color on it so that is everything that i purchased from the shein maternity range even though the items turned up not as i was expecting i do now really appreciate it because these are products that i will be able to get more use out of because i feel they will be really handy postpartum and not just while i'm pregnant because they are just generally more forgiving items and i am really glad with everything that i picked up but other than that that is it for my monthly haul for july if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already thanks